waterways. Today, the Calusa Water Keep, our local environmental group, released its latest fecal matter sample data for Lee County from last night. Yeah, so listen to this. Their data shows that more than half of the samples collected came back at poor or extremely poor levels. Meteorologist Andrew Shipley showing us where those high levels of bacteria are tonight. Waterkeeper Environmental Organization released their latest January fecal bacteria sample results on Tuesday night. Now here in Lee County, they measured 15 of 36 different sites showing extremely poor conditions. One such site is right here on Matt Lachey Isles, where it measured about 450 and above. Now you get into about 250. That's where that extreme level sets in. The Calusa Waterkeeper tests the water looking for endococcus, an indicator of fecal contamination that can carry disease spreading bacterium such as E. coli. And while I was in Matt Lache, I spoke to several fishermen. They did not want to talk on camera, but they told me they're not overly concerned about these water samples. After leaving Matt Lachey, I headed south down to the Imperial River Kayak Launch. This is where water keepers measured fecal bacteria up to 1600. Local river guide I spoke to here while he didn't want to go on camera suggested this could be from local wildlife, including bats living under some of the bridges. I asked FGC Professor Don Duke if this could be contributing to the fecal bacteria in this area. Certainly bats, certainly birds, small mammals. You know, we have mice and other rodents that live in the wild. Uh, they don't generate as much guano as a good sized colony of bats. Um, but um, the short answer is yes, absolutely. While fecal bacteria could be coming from animals, humans are also warm blooded mammals that create fecal bacteria. Dr. Duke says a problem with tests like this is hard to figure out the source as well as if it will make people sick. It's the best indicator we have. It's what the regulation says. But, um, you know, the best we have just is not real good in this case. Dr. Duke said it's also not a given that you'll get sick if you come in contact with this polluted water. I ended the day Long Manual Branch in Fort Myers, and if you're not familiar with that, that's Long Manual Drive, not far from Fort Myers High School, the Edison Ford Winter Homes, and yes, the Caloosahatchee River. This is also the location of the second highest levels of fecal bacteria by the Calusa Waterkeepers, just behind Billy's Creek in Tice. Dr. Duke says, though, that it's important to note that these levels can change significantly from day to day, and while samples are helpful, they're not definitive, and it's also not uncommon to have high levels in early urban areas like here in Fort Myers. So all that in context, it's not an automatic that you'll get sick. In Fort Myers, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.